Hello, everybody, and welcome to episode three of Leaf Hacks. In this episode, I want to show you a technique for making sure that your tires are properly inflated. Uh, this is what I've found to be very important in maintaining a high level of efficiency. It actually has a pretty dramatic impact on your on your efficiency, much more than you'd think. Uh, and the car, what I found is the car's automatic, you know, their tire pressure monitoring system, a little weird icon that might show up in your dash, uh, doesn't come on quick enough to indicate that you might have low tire pressure. So I'm going to cover this uh, this app that I use. It's called Leaf Spy. And with this device here, this is a basically an OBD2 uh, adapter that you can get for about uh, less than $15 on Amazon. Uh, and it talks over Bluetooth to an Android phone. Uh, and, a, and an app called Leaf Spy, uh, which this is the backwards part of this, <laughs> this video that I shot much earlier, uh, hoping to get it out there quickly. Uh, but it turned out to take a long time to get the get this channel up and running. Um, so it's a little bit late. Um, I, I did want to have it out there as the weather started to get cold, and it certainly is cold now. Anyway, with that app and this device, we'll be able to monitor the tire pressures. And this video is basically about getting that all set up and making it easy to to use, figure out which tires need need uh, inflating if you have one or more that is a little low. Okay, one of the things that you can do with Leaf Spy is uh, monitor your tire pressures. And I've found that that's become very important, especially as the weather gets cold and when, it, when it's warming up, uh, that can have a huge impact on your efficiency. However, uh, it's not completely automatic. It does need to be set up. As you can see in this uh, picture, it looks like the rear left tire is a bit low. Um, however, I haven't set this up, so you know you, you do need to know that those sensors are just kind of um, in each tire. Uh, Leaf Spy does not know what tire is is actually on which sensor, which sensors on which tire. So you need to figure out which uh, which tire corresponds with which sensor. Now, Leaf Spy Pro does have a feature that makes that pretty easy. The way you do it is you inflate your tires to specific pressures that it tells you to, drive around, and it will detect that. And then it, uh, once it figures out which tire is at which pressure, it will assign the, the tires, and then the picture will then look correct. And you can tell which tire it is that uh, actually needs inflating. So that's what I'm going to do now. I've got a um, bike pump with a fairly accurate pump. I don't know how accurate um, this has to be, but I know that the uh, the gauge that I have, uh, the, the small handheld one, is probably not accurate. And I know that the one at the uh, air compressor um, at the gas station that I need to go to to inflate the tires is definitely not accurate. So let's try this out. Yeah, and actually, look what I just noticed. There's a, uh, looks like this is a nail or something, a roofing nail that got embedded in my tire. So that is, <laughs> that tire that was low might actually be on the rear left, but we'll see in a minute. Um, but this will have to be repaired. That's a bummer. Okay, so the way this works is you just start at the front left. Um, at 35 PSI and you work your way around and each uh, you work your way around clockwise and you drop by three uh, PSI each tire so front left would be 35 front right 32 rear right uh, 29 and left uh, rear would be 26 let's go okay there's 35 Okay, around 32 on the front right. Okay, about 29 on the right rear. And this is the one with the nail or screw or whatever it is in it. 26, I guess I'm a little high on that, but I bet you it's, uh, it's already pretty low as it is. Okay, let's see what Leaf Spy has to say. Okay, so it looks like uh, my tire gauge on my pump 
um, is probably reading low because those uh, tire pressures are quite high. In fact, for, for a minute, the uh, I was getting the yellow uh, tire pressure um, warning on my on the leaf, probably because it was too high, not because it was too low. Anyway, I'm going to go to um, adjust these pressures now at the air uh, at the air pump at the gas station. There's somebody using it right now, um, but as you can see, the uh, it finally did. I, I actually hit the green button to start the tire registration, and it was yellow. I did have to drive for you know three minutes, like it said, and then finally it did turn green, and I got the done message. So I think we're all set. I will uh, now look at the actual tire pressures and see if the if the picture lines up with what I inflated them to or deflated. Okay, quick note on how to get to that screen on Leaf Spy Pro. Uh, you need to go to the settings, so you hit the, uh, the dot 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 menu button. Um, and then from there, look down, there's a uh, service screen um, setting that you need to enable. And once you click that and, and back out of the settings, then uh, there'll be a fifth screen on, on Leaf Spy that has a menu like this. And from that menu, you hit uh, register tire positions and you can get to the, the screen that lets you register your tire positions. Okay, and also uh, I did check the tire pressures and it, it is accurate now on the picture. So I'm going to have to go now and get my tire repaired. And it just so happens it's also time to have my tires rotated. I can actually now see if they actually rotate them. Not that I don't trust them, but uh, yeah, might as well double check. Okay, the nice thing about the Leaf is that it actually has a feature which uh, helps you inflate the tires. Um, when you, if you don't turn the car off, you can leave it on while you're doing this. Uh, the car will actually beep its horn uh, once when the tire is sufficiently inflated and multiple times um, when it's getting to be too full. So I'm going to try to do this with one hand. I probably can. Well, we'll just have to listen. There's the one beep. And multiple beeps. So there we go. That one's inflated. I deflated the uh, right, I'm sorry, the front left, and we should be pretty good to go. Okay, let's say goodbye to the gas station that we did not have to pay any money to. Okay, everyone, thanks for watching. And in our next episode, I think what I'll do is I'll go over the Leaf Spy app a little bit more. Uh, I apologize that it seemed like the cart was before the horse in this going over some of the features of Leaf Spy before I had a chance to go over Leaf Spy itself, but I'll see if I can get that fixed uh, and go over some of the other things that you can do with Leaf Spy because it's a pretty, pretty good app. Anyway, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. And uh, until next time, see you later.